In Islam, the terms halal and haram are used to categorize actions. Halal signifies that an action is permissible, whereas haram indicates that it is prohibited. Engaging in a haram act is considered sinful and can lead to divine punishment in the afterlife. Additionally, if you live in a region that enforces Sharia law, committing a haram act may also result in legal consequences. To distinguish between what's halal and haram in Islam, let's delve into the video. Premarital sex is haram. Islam highly values the institution of marriage, and any sexual relations outside of a lawful marriage are considered sinful. Having four wives is halal. Polygamy is permissible in Islam under certain conditions, such as being able to treat all wives equally and provide for them. Marrying your sibling is haram. Islam prohibits marriage between blood siblings due to the close degree of kinship. Marrying your cousin is halal. Unlike some cultures and religions, Islam permits marriage between first cousins. Marrying a non-Muslim is haram. In general, a Muslim woman cannot marry a non-Muslim man. Some interpretations allow a Muslim man to marry a Christian or Jewish woman. However, if a husband allows his wife to violate Islamic principles, it is also sinful, making it practically haram unless the non-Muslim spouse converts to Islam. Being friends with non-Muslims is halal. Islam encourages kindness and fair treatment towards all people regardless of their faith. Eating pork is haram. In Islam, pork is considered impure and its consumption is strictly forbidden. Owning a dog for hunting or guarding is halal. While dogs are generally considered unclean in Islam, they can be kept for specific purposes like hunting or guarding. Torturing animals is haram. Islam teaches respect for all living creatures and forbids causing unnecessary harm or suffering to animals. Letting cats into the house or mosque is halal. Cats are considered clean animals in Islam and there are hadiths mentioning the Prophet's interactions with cats. Watching porn is haram. Islamic teachings strongly discourage the consumption of explicit content as it is seen as morally corrupting. Watching movies without pornography is halal. Islam allows entertainment, as long as it is clean and does not promote immorality. Getting drunk is haram. Islam prohibits the consumption of alcohol and any intoxicants that impair judgment and behavior. Using alcohol for medical purposes is halal. Islam allows the use of alcohol to treat wounds because it does not result in drunkenness. Killing innocent people is haram. Islam strictly condemns violence and the taking of innocent lives. Killing enemies during war is halal. In a justified war or self-defense, Islam permits fighting, but it also sets strict rules to minimize harm. Gambling and lottery are haram. Gambling is seen as a form of unearned income and is considered a major sin in Islam. Sports tournaments are halal. Islam encourages physical fitness and fair competition, as long as it doesn't involve harm or unethical behavior. MMA and boxing are haram. Islam prohibits hitting the head in combat sports as it can cause brain damage and lead to permanent injury. Olympic wrestling is halal. Olympic wrestling, which involves only pushing, is allowed as it does not involve striking the head. Insulting others is haram. 
Islam encourages good manners and respect for others and discourages harmful speech. Respecting people with different opinions is halal. Islam promotes tolerance and respectful dialogue with people of different perspectives. Gossip or slander is haram. Backbiting and spreading false information about others is considered a major sin in Islam. Concealing people's disgrace is halal. Islam encourages covering up the faults of others to avoid the public display of sins. Raping or harassing anyone is haram. Islam categorically condemns any form of sexual assault or harassment. Touching others without sexual intention is halal. Non-sexual touch, such as a handshake or a pat on the back, is generally permissible. Stealing other people's property is haram. Theft is a major sin in Islam, and respect for others' property rights is strongly emphasized. Giving presents to non-Muslims is halal. Islam encourages kindness and generosity to all people, irrespective of their faith. Music concerts are haram. Some interpretations of Islam consider music concerts to be distracting from religious duties and potentially promoting idolatry. Playing music at weddings or celebrations is halal. Many Muslims believe that playing music during certain celebrations is permissible, as long as the content is not immoral or provocative. Idolizing or worshipping celebrities is haram. Islam teaches monotheism and discourages placing any created being on a pedestal reserved for God. Admiring and following good people is halal. Islam encourages learning from the good deeds and character of others as long as it does not cross into worship. Provoking other religious groups is haram. Islam promotes peace, tolerance, and mutual respect among different faith groups. Letting others worship in their own way is halal. While Muslims believe in the truth of their own religion, they are also taught to respect the religious freedoms of others. Destroying houses of other religions is haram. Islam prohibits the destruction of places of worship of other religions, emphasizing respect and tolerance. Making a peace treaty is halal. Peacemaking and conflict resolution are highly encouraged in Islam. Banning education is haram. The first word revealed in the Quran was read, emphasizing the importance of education in Islam. Schools for women are halal. Islam encourages the education of both men and women. Making statues or paintings for worship is haram. Creating idols or images for worship is prohibited in Islam due to the monotheistic principle. Making statues or paintings for art is halal. While some interpretations of Islam discourage creating representational art, others accept it as long as it's not used for worship. Worshipping the prophets is haram. Prophets in Islam are revered and respected, but they are not to be worshipped, as worship is only for God. Admiring and following the prophets is halal. Muslims are encouraged to emulate the virtues and teachings of the prophets. Borrowing or lending money with interest is haram. Usury or interest is considered exploitative and is strictly forbidden in Islam. Borrowing or lending money without interest is halal. Islam promotes trade and financial transactions that are free from interest and exploitation. Eating when your neighbor is starving is haram. 
Islam emphasizes community responsibility and taking care of one's neighbors. Helping your non-Muslim neighbors is halal. Islam teaches that kindness should be extended to all neighbors, regardless of their faith. Taking the law into one's own hands is haram. Islam advocates for justice and the rule of law, and it discourages individuals from enacting personal justice outside of the legal system. Respecting non-Muslim governments is halal. Islam encourages Muslims to respect and abide by the laws of the land they live in, as long as those laws do not compel them to act against their religious beliefs. The principles of halal and haram in Islam serve as a comprehensive framework guiding a Muslim's conduct across the spectrum of daily life. They are not merely rules, but a reflection of a broader ethical system that fosters respect, fairness, and justice at personal, societal, and global levels. While these principles are clearly outlined in Islamic teachings, their interpretation can vary among scholars, influenced by cultural practices, historical contexts, and individual understanding. This highlights the rich diversity within the global Islamic community and the dynamic nature of Islamic jurisprudence. The ultimate goal for Muslims, irrespective of their cultural background, is to lead a life pleasing to Allah. This involves demonstrating compassion, integrity, and respect for all creation, including humans, animals, and the environment. Respect for others, regardless of their faith or background, is an integral part of this ethos. It's crucial to remember the importance of understanding and respect for diverse religious beliefs and practices. This mutual understanding forms the foundation for a more inclusive and tolerant world. Furthermore, these principles serve a societal purpose, to establish harmony, promote ethical behavior, and discourage actions that may harm individuals or society. They create a balance between rights and responsibilities, freedom and restraint, to ensure the overall well-being of the community. In a world fraught with conflicts and misunderstandings, it's more important than ever to appreciate and respect the religious and cultural diversity that forms the fabric of our global society. Learning about principles like halal and haram in Islam can be a step towards fostering this appreciation and building bridges of understanding. Those are some things about halal and haram in Islam. Please comment if there are errors in this video. The purpose of this video is to share information that is informative and interesting to everyone. Hopefully with this video, all of you can get to know Islam better. That's all for now. If you want more informative videos, check our channel. The Nerd Robot channel provides a variety of interesting videos on various topics accompanied by animated infographics and interesting illustrations. To support this channel and get information about the latest videos, we recommend that you subscribe to this channel. We'll really appreciate that. Thank you.